At night, a faint sound cuts through the air. No one can see it, no one can hear it. Yet, it moves effortlessly through the skies. This is a phantom machine capable of deceiving even the most advanced air defense systems in the world. It carries missiles and bombs so dangerous, they could alter the course of history. Each aircraft costs over $2 billion, making it the most expensive plane in the world. But the real question is, how can a 50-meter wide jet plane remain invisible to radar? And why does it look like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie? Hello, I'm The Unfold, and today we're going to uncover the secrets of the B-2 Spirit, the legendary stealth bomber that changed the rules of modern aerial warfare. Our story begins during the Cold War, a time when the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a silent but deadly nuclear standoff. Every move held the power to destroy the world. The B-52 bombers were always on standby at strategic air bases, ready to take off at a moment's notice. These aircraft flew routes covering the Canadian Arctic, Alaska, Greenland, and the Mediterranean. But there was a major problem. The Soviet Union had developed air defense systems so advanced that these flying fortresses became easy targets. One U.S. Air Force general even remarked that sending a B-52 into Soviet airspace was like flying straight into the jaws of death. So when every tactic fails, it's time to change the game. And that's when the era of the B-2 began. The mission was called ATB, Advanced Technology Bomber. The goal was simple, yet seemingly impossible. Create a bomber that could fly through the most heavily defended airspace, drop bombs, and disappear before the enemy even knew what hit them. It sounded like science fiction. Engineers were baffled. But this wasn't just about building another fighter jet. It was about maintaining the balance of global nuclear power. As long as both sides feared retaliation, the Cold War would remain a cold one and not turn nuclear. What most people didn't know was that the concept behind the B-2 had already been imagined and rejected decades earlier. Let's rewind to 1946, just after World War II, when the world was seeking peace. One man was working on a strange, futuristic aircraft design. His name was Jack Northrop, and his dream was the flying wing. No fuselage, no tail, just a wing gliding through the air. Everyone thought it was madness. But Northrop believed this was the future. In 1947, his dream came to life with the YB-49, a flying wing jet with a wingspan of over 50 meters. It was way ahead of its time. But there was one big problem. The computers back then weren't powerful enough to stabilize such a design. Flying the YB-49 was like balancing a unicycle on a tightrope. The Air Force wasn't impressed. In 1949, they ordered all YB-49 aircraft to be destroyed. Now fast forward to 1978, when the Air Force launched the ATB program. This time, they wanted a bomber that could penetrate the world's most protected airspaces without being detected. The contract was awarded to none other than Northrop Corporation, the same company that once dreamed of the flying wing. But now they had decades of technology and a blank check from the government. Northrop was ready to do the impossible build a 100-ton aircraft the size of a football field that could fly invisible. That's the real twist. The B-2 bomber is essentially an evolved version of Jack Northrop's 1940s flying wing concept. Every curve and angle of this aircraft serves a purpose. The B-2 is a continuous wing, offering two major advantages, ultra-low radar visibility and unmatched aerodynamic efficiency. This allows the aircraft to fly across the world without tiring. But let's look at the real secret behind its invisibility. Its skin. The B-2 is coated with a top-secret radar absorbent material. Instead of reflecting radar waves, it absorbs them. Think of it like the B-2 is wearing an invisibility cloak. And that cloak is so classified, if I told you the formula, I might disappear off the radar myself. Its construction is seamless. Smooth panels, minimal joints. Every edge is carefully shaped so radar waves don't bounce off. Imagine a sleek sports car, except this one is as big as a warehouse, and can fly undetected. But the real challenge wasn't the design, it was controlling it. Flying wings are naturally unstable, no tail, no vertical fins. The aircraft constantly wants to pitch and roll, so how do you control something like that? The answer is the fly-by-wire system, an advanced digital control system that adjusts the aircraft's movements every second. The result? A 100-ton steel bomber that glides through the sky with the elegance of a feather. It performs maneuvers that should be impossible for an aircraft of its size. Now imagine you're a radar operator. Suddenly, everything on your screen vanishes. That's when you know. The B-2 Spirit is in action. 
Powering the B2 are four General Electric F118-G E-100 turbofan engines. But they're not exposed. They're embedded deep within the aircraft. Their intakes are hidden on top of the wings to prevent radar detection. If radar waves hit the fan blades directly, it's game over. So the exhaust is cooled and spread across a wide area to reduce infrared signature as well. The B2's airframe is mostly made from carbon graphite composite materials. Lightweight, strong, and almost invisible to radar. Each aircraft was built in separate sections, then assembled with the precision of a Swiss watchmaker. Even a small misalignment could turn this stealth bomber into a multi-billion dollar radar reflector. When the B-2 first rolled out, people were stunned. It looked like something out of a science fiction movie. But this wasn't just an aircraft. It was a machine that rewrote the rules of aerial combat. It contains more than 130 onboard computers controlling every system. It absorbs radar, confuses detection systems, and uses electronic jamming to block enemy signals. Its radar cross-section is so small that compared to a B-52, the B-2 appears the size of a pigeon. Let's talk performance and capabilities. First, payload. The B-2 Spirit can carry up to 20 tons of bombs. Not just regular bombs, nuclear bombs too. It can carry up to 85 GBU-class GPS-guided bombs. In a single mission, it can hit 80 different targets at once. And if more power is needed, it can deploy the GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator. But that's just the beginning. The real jaw-dropper is its range. On a single tank of fuel, the B-2 can fly over 11,000 kilometers. That's New York to Moscow nonstop. And if you refuel at midair, its range becomes the entire planet. So you might ask, sure, it goes far. But is it fast? The B-2 cruises at around 901 kilometers per hour. Slower than fighter jets, yes. But speed isn't the goal. The B-2's mission is stealth, not noise. It flies at altitudes up to 50,000 feet, nearly twice the height of Mount Everest. Only two crew members operate the B-2, one pilot and one mission commander. But their job isn't just flying. They manage the aircraft's complex avionics and mission systems. And if GPS ever fails, the B-2 can navigate using the stars. This aircraft can operate in any condition, day or night, rain or storm. Its advanced radar system, though controversial, allows it to perform terrain mapping and terrain avoidance automatically. Now let's talk cost. The price of one B-2 bomber is $2 billion. That's enough money to buy over 5,000 American homes. Why so expensive? Because it's built with top secret systems, radar absorbing materials, and cutting edge stealth tech. Only 21 of these bombers were ever made, making it not just powerful, but rare. And it's continuously upgraded to stay one step ahead of future threats. So the final question is, is it worth all that money? Defense experts say, absolutely. Because when you can strike anywhere in the world without being seen, the question isn't about money, it's about power.